My name is Joanna Neville and I'm a Paintings Conservator at Modern Art Conservation in New York. My role as a conservator has many different aspects to it. The part that people tend to think of first is the hands-on side, the technical side where we're repairing paintings. We are very connected to the art market here in New York. Um, there are a lot of very tight deadlines. We are looking at a lot of paintings or treating paintings in connection with their sale or exhibition. So we spend a lot of time in galleries and auction houses and private residences examining artworks and writing condition reports. We borrow a lot of tools from fields such as uh, dentistry or surgery to help us for some of the very meticulous and fine work that we do. And as conservators, we are always on the lookout um, for extra tools, whether that be a porcupine quill or something equally unusual that is just perfect for the job. The aim of a lot of what we do is to case the artist's work and not our own work. Um, and so in many ways we are behind the scenes and we are invisible and deliberately so. So the average museum visitor or gallery visitor may not be aware of all of the hours of work that have gone into preserving something. I'm very near the end of a treatment of a painting by Theodore Jericho, um, which is an oil study for his famous painting, The Rock of the Medusa, um, which is in Paris at the Louvre. And the study for that painting that I'm working on is owned by the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art, doing aesthetic reintegration of the object, which was reconstructing the lost or damaged areas um, with reference to the final painting in Paris um, to refocus the attention on Jericho's work and so that it could be viewed as a whole. Um, and this involved a lot of art historical research with reference to the final painting in Paris and also to other oil sketches that Jericho did um, so that we could rebuild that imagery and have the painting be in a displayable state again. I enjoy the creative side that goes into tailoring treatments um, where artists have used unconventional materials like tar, feathers, bubblegum, acrylic paint, things that are themselves very unconventional or have been mixed in unusual ways. Um, and going through some of the detective work of thinking about how the artist has worked with those materials, looking at the condition issues, and then coming up with a creative solution of how you can best preserve that artwork. Um, all of those things were very exciting to me. Um, and from that point on, I was hooked.